Hello and welcome guys to this tutorial on how to get wide mixes. My name is Nate Robin, I'm of Protoculture and I'm going to be taking you through a whole bunch of ideas and uh, tips and tricks on how to create width and uh, depth in your mixes using stereo processing. That's one of the questions I get asked a load uh, of times is, you know, how do you get your mix so wide? How do you, how do you get that, uh, that sort of wall of sound? So we're going to kind of uh, look at some core concepts, you know, what is uh, stereo, what creates um, uh, stereo width and depth, and then uh, look at a bunch of different uh, uh, tools that you can use, different methods that you can use to kind of uh, extend your your width in your mix and find a place for your sounds in that stereo field we're going to look at everything from uh, time-based effects like micro delays uh, ADT uh, we'll look at double tracking um, dealing with mono and uh, stereo files uh, then we'll cover reverbs uh, we'll take a look at some pitch effects modulation um, how to use motion to extend your your width in your tracks as well um, and then uh, we're also going to look at a bunch of practical examples as well. We'll cover a vocal mixing section where, where, where we'll uh, use sort of effects creatively to kind of make a really nice big wide vocal mix. Uh, we'll do a drum uh, practical as well where we will mix uh, a uh, entire drum kit for like a dance track uh, with loops and hi-hats and everything to kind of maximize the, the, the width that we get out of that as well. And then uh, a couple of miscellaneous uh, sort of creative sessions that we'll do as well, just to kind of look at different ways to go around using uh, your effects creatively to create a bit of interest and create a bit of depth and, and motion in your sounds. Uh, and then lastly, we'll just look at, at the downsides of it as well. Uh, I want to just cover how to identify phase problems and how to, how to fix those and avoid issues with uh, mixing wide um, wide mixes like this. Uh, I will be using a fairly extensive uh, list of uh, third-party plugins for this as well. Um, I always uh, try to showcase as much as possible in these tutorials just so you can kind of see how I actually use them uh, in these situations. Uh, for the most part, you'll be able to find alternatives if you don't have what I use. Um, I also do cover quite a few free options as well that are great little tools for uh, accomplishing what we're trying to achieve in this tutorial. Um, and some of them are, uh, some of these uh, techniques don't require any plugins at all either. Um, also, if you're a beginner, definitely watch this one. It's a great place to start. There's uh, quite a lot of basic stuff that we cover in the beginning. And for the advanced users, we'll definitely get down to some more uh, nitty gritty technical stuff towards the end as well. Great. So we, we're going to get stuck in. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this course. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.